And welcome back to Jeff K98 Live right here at Susan Television with the one and only Wiper Democratic Movement leader and NASA co-principal Kalonzo Musyoka. By the way, he's written a book, pretty fascinating account of his life. Do you call it autobiography or memoir? What do you call it? Autobiography. Good. Autobiography. It's called Against All Odds. Folks, Ahmed from Prestige Bookshop has just reminded me you can pick up a copy at Prestige. Okay, we're going to move along. We asked you this question earlier on in the evening. Should Kalonzo Musyoka be NASA flag bearer? And so far, 47% of you have said yes. 53% of you say no. Keep texting us. SMS number 22422. You know the Twitter handles. At SK Musyoka, at Koinange Jeff, at Susan TV Kenya. Hashtag jk live let's take a look at some of your tweets which by the way are coming in very thick <laughs> and very fast all right here we go martin garcia kindly ask alonzo musyoka where else apart from ukambani he has influence why is he the best bet to beat uk mm. well <clears throat> i think i'm very comfortable with uh, people in the rift valley and I also think that in central Kenya, anywhere, in Moranga, um, Nyeri, um, look at Meru. In fact, a lot of people uh, confuse me for a Mumeru hmm. or a Mudaraka. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I speak in Meru. Yeah. All right? Okay. So, so you think you can get support in those places? Absolutely. I, and and I, I hate to think that anybody will look at me just as a Kamba candidate because that I'm not. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Honestly, would you, could you beat President Uhuru Kenyatta one-on-one -on -one race? Could you beat him? I think my friend Uhuru knows that he will have the fight of his life if I am given the flag. Okay, let's move along. Dickens, you say Kalonzo Musyoka can... you know can what? I, I still think, Jeff, even if people in central Kenya don't come out, a lot of them will rest and say... In fact, I think if I uh, uh, got voter apathy in central Kenya... I love Bita Nohuru. Dickens, Kalonzo Musyoka, can Kenyans trust you to deliver? If yes, how best have you used opportunities accorded before? Well, I have been our country's foreign minister, and everybody will tell you, in the Republic of South Sudan, in the Sudan itself, in Somalia, or even in Somalia, uh, because of the, the tribal, not even the tribal, the clan arithmetic out there, I even decided I should belong to one of the Somali clans. Hmm. The Darots, they are we, as I said, my clan is Diglum Rifle. Because I was able to help, I wanted to understand what else Somalia. And I think I was able to deliver on those two accounts. And of course, busy as foreign minister, a lot of other things. If I tell you that United Nations offices in Nairobi, right? Even when I was minister for education, Kofi Annan flew into Nairobi elevated the status of UNEP to United Nations offices. Mm -hmm. Therefore, because I'd made a direct request to him, including um, sourcing for the executive uh, who came in that time, and he actually said the Nairobi is actually at par with New York, Geneva, and Vienna. That's why it became a headquarters. Absolutely. UNEA now. Absolutely. Well, let me so, ask you this. When yeah. you were vice president, crisscrossing around the world's pla uh, count, uh, capitals, to help out then ICC suspects. Uh huh. Remember? You yeah. crisscrossed. The shuttle diplomacy. <laughs> I talk about it here. Shut you do. I did a lot of shuttling. Any regrets? No regrets. No regrets. I did my best. I was doing duty for my country. I was actually standing in the gap to make sure that the suspects received a fair trial and that the victims of the post election violence also received justice. Mm. As we speak today, I think it is anybody's guess who is the poorer. Those victims are yet to receive justice. Mm. My friends are free, but I wasn't going out there to literally say, you know, I want them free. I said, it is important that we recognize we made a mistake when we did not bring about the constitutional amendment that will have brought into play into place a division of the high court yeah. because that was the idea mm. to have um, a local mechanism 
that was going to try the suspects and also make sure there's justice for the victim. Okay, let's move along. Winzy, Joseph, you say, how are you doing, Joseph, by the way? Nice of you to tune in. I ask a simple question. What will be the price of a packet of unga if you win? Yeah. By the way, how much is a packet of unga right now? 150 shillings. Uh, I saw a big joke. First of all, that Galana uh, irrigation yes, scheme, yes. a big flop. One of the things I did as my member of uh, parliament for my constituency was to start the Wikivuki irrigation scheme, which I'm sure the minister responsible for irrigation has no idea. Yeah, but they are talking about Galana. Suppose we have a million acres mm. under irrigation. Mm. Now look at what it is. The minister for water and irrigation himself says, this is futuristic. Our experts have told us that we'll be able to reduce the price of Wonga to 75 shillings. A big joke. I can tell you for a fact, even where the treasury seers um, argues that I was given this, this window, mm. four months, mm. to import maize duty free. From Mexico. From Mexico. This is now the window for the cartels. By the time I was making this announcement, I can tell you, maybe their ships already docked in Mombasa with a lot of maize. What does that mean to our farmers in the Rift Valley? Of course, it, they're reduced to nothing. So this, these are some of the things I tell you, Jeff, Jubilee needs really to go home. Okay, to answer Joseph's question, mm -hmm. a, a, a packet of unga right now is uh, between 147 and 153. Yeah, so 150 yeah. is and fine. And they're saying in, in fine. a week's time, uh, they have agreed to that bring it to 115. What would it be that under? That is still very expensive. What would it be under President Musioka? Well, I cannot tell you the precise number because I, people know I'm very realistic, but I can tell you uh, impressions to make uh, our, 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 our mandate to be to make life bearable for every Kenyan citizen. Right now, Jeff, this country is angry and it's also hungry. Would it be, a, would it be below 100? Of course, we'll, we'll do everything possible to bring it below 100. The idea is to make life bearable for the ordinary citizen. Okay, let's move yeah. on. Moses Kanyita, you say, is he courageous enough to say, quote, my friend Ryla, it's my time to try it out. I've told him as much already. And I'm ready to repeat that to my friend Ryla. If he's watching Let you right now. If he's watching ah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell him, my friend Ryla, try Steve, Steve O. He calls me. <laughs> and, and you see what will happen. I think it's time to relax. We need to relax the politics of this country. We don't want to make politics toxic all the time. Mm. And this is what you're trying to do. Um, we're ready. You're we're ready. ready. Joel Mundu, you say, how would he have handled the doctor's strike as president? Ah, I've seen the automatum. I think Uhuru was swear swearing at them today. <laughs> if you ever try again, I wouldn't do it that way. Mm. I don't know what has become of my friend. Okay. <laughs> You know, really, yeah. I would handle it differently, okay? Um, first of all, it was the longest strike, I think, in Africa. Mm. Nearly 100 days. Yeah, 100 days. How many of our people died? You cannot handle doctors the same way you would handle other professionals. Because these are people who are in the business of saving lives, all right? And I remember their clarion call when they were on strike was pay as you pay, mm those uh, racketeers who go out chasing government tenders because they know what has been happening. The problem is corruption. Mm. Yeah? Therefore, if we can check and slay the ghost of corruption, I believe our doctors will be better paid. Okay. Obiero Shadra Cotieno, you say, in which areas has Jubilee failed and how would he address those failures when he is president? Governance is outstanding. Governance is corruption. And of course, lack of inclusivity, ethnicity. I've never seen our country, Jeff, it divided along tribal lines as it is now. Yeah. This will be my number one preoccupation. Every you're, Kenyan. You're saying NASA is not tribal, it's not ethnic? Of course it's not. Come on. Of course it's Kamba, not. Kamba, Luo, Luya. Yeah, even if you had to look at that way, the numbers are greater than on the other side. All right? But the point is, that is not the issue. Every Kenyan must be either their brothers or their sister's keeper or we are not in one nation. Look at what happened in Tanzania. When my friend Kikwete was, became president, some Kenyans were heard of a hard saying, ah, what tribe is Kikwete? Mm. Now there are over 140 tribes in Tanzania, but they all, because of the legacy of Mwalimu Julius Nyerere, 
a wonderful leader in Africa. Mm. One needs to be emulated. Tanzanians are brothers and sisters. And they keep on saying, hey, we, we, we do not want to, to get this, this disease mm. from Kenya. Yeah. So this, this is important. Can it happen in, in, in our generation, in our time? Yes, yes. The negative ethnicity, it the can. tribalism. The, you know, if you get a leadership that is not toxic, that will embrace everybody. Is that you? Yes. That's you? I am sure. I'm sure every Kenyan can hold me to confidence on this issue. Okay, SMSs. Yeah. Monica, what do we have? Some texts? We have okay, you were talking before about 2007-2008. Uh, uh, yeah. And, and the ICC and what you did. My question here is, we're heading there right now, if we're Are not we? careful. We're heading to something akin to 0708 and we don't want the violence we don't want it to get to that what do you what do you foresee i i will let you let out a secret to you uh during my master's thesis and i took time to study for my master's in law during this time when i had a little bit of time in opposition and my thesis was on the icc all right mm -hmm. i hope i can i can get the can the school of law uh, University of Nairobi to publish this thesis. It does express frustration. The moment we say yes to impunity, then we have no country. And I think Kenyans will recall, I came out very strongly and said, for those like dwellers of this world who are trying to move parliament to convince Kenyans that we can move away from an international commitment because the ICC treaty was ratified by this country. Mm -hmm. And in fact, under the new, uh, our new constitution, we have even imported it, ratified it as such. Therefore, it becomes part of our domestic law. The moment we begin to say, let us get out of the ICC, what are we saying? We are saying yes to killing each other mm -hmm. and getting away with it. Yeah. Does it, bother, yeah. does it, are, are you, it bothers me. Are you fearful that we might head down there? Because let's face it, justice since 07, 08, mm doesn't seem to have been carried out. Yeah. You know, if you act in a manner that brings death and suffering to your citizens and you can pretend that that is nothing, then my friend, you cannot be a leader. Okay? So this matter is emotive. It's a matter that I dealt with deeply and I still think out there there are many Kenyans, remember 650,000 of them were uprooted from what they call their homes. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, Jeff, do you think healing has actually taken place in the Rift Valley? So when we say that it is time to implement the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Report, which Jubilee are afraid of even presenting before Parliament. I recall at the, at the funeral service, of Mze William and Tamama, my God raise his soul in peace. Mm -hmm. We challenged Duale, and Duale said, we're going to bring it. Now this parliament is going home, the 11th parliament. I think it's been a disaster, if you ask me. Because if they cannot debate and bring to full implementation the TJRC report, then they're actually saying things can go wrong again in this country, and people think it is business as usual. Yeah, yeah. good point. OK, some SMSs. As we go along, we have some SMSs. People have been texting, tweeting, Facebooking all night, okay? Kalonzo is, a, is politically mature, and this is his time. Someone says, we don't have a, okay, name. Thank you. Uh, yes, Kalonzo deserves to be flag bearer. Okay. No, let him leave for Ryla the last time, for <laughs> the last time. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we need a new leader, a peace-loving, uniting factor. And last one, Jeff, no. Kalonzo is presidential material, but very poor in reading the signs of the times. <laughs> what are these signs of the times? <laughs> yeah, Sign, signs of time the for change. Listen, we are saying change. This is change time, my friend. But is but you know, but if, you know, if even America can elect one Donald Trump, yes, <laughs> okay, anything can change. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. Joey Tortia, yeah. he sent in a tweet saying Hillary Clinton had the same 30 years leadership experience as Kalonzo uh -huh. Musioka, and she famously lost. You you were in government 30 years. Yeah, but 30 years. Look at 
what was I in government? First, as member of my constituency, and I must remind the readers, I actually lost when I first tried in 1983. 83. Mm -hmm. I lost. Then I got elected in the by-election in 85, and I was reigned for a straight 28 years. But some of the Kenyans, Ken our friends, are very generous with giving me 30 years. <laughs> it wasn't 30 yeah, years. 28, okay. 30, you know, what's yeah, two yeah, years yeah. amongst More, friends? Some are 35. <laughs> I've had William Ruto do some wrong arithmetic. <laughs> Say, plus uh, Ru Raila, plus Kalonzo, plus yeah. Modavadi, yeah. and, and then he says uh, uh, himself, plus Uhuru. Terrible arithmetic. I can tell you. During the last days of President Kibaki, the guys who actually held the reins of mm, power mm. were my friends. Raila Odinga was prime minister. I was the vice president. But lame duck because the security system, and here I'm talking about the government. Yeah. The government was in support of our friends. So they are the ones effectively holding the reins of but power. There was so they should not really, this, the, we must debunk this myth. This myth that uh, oh we well, know we were vice president and and, and and prime minister all right yeah we we did, were not able to defeat them how do we expect to defeat them it is time for change and i think it is jubilee that is failing to read the signs of time okay yep danny muni he says ask Kalonzo if he remembers this statement quote yeah your name betrays you yeah and I was actually, you know, I, that young man, Kennedy. Mm. You remember today? His name? Yeah, Kennedy Murithi. He's, he's actually, Kennedy Murithi is one of the biggest supporters I have. <laughs> <laughs> Does <laughs> he work for you? Because my other son is Kennedy. See, so your name is betraying you. <laughs> but people thought I was talking about Kikuyus and whatever. Yes. But Kennedy, by the way, Murithi is not even Kikuyu, it's Meru. And remember, I said, I have so much affinity to Meru. But be that as it may, I took the time to apologize. Because I realize a lot of Kenyans misunderstood me, all right? And, 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 and that's it. That's one of the bad things that you want to, to look at and forget. So I owned it up. And I said, I'm sorry to Kennedy. I, if I actually went to his local church because people misunderstood me. And all of, a sudden, Kubu. And all of a sudden, people said you hated Kikuyus. Yeah, From imagine. That. And they forgot that I saved the Kikuyus <laughs> from the slaughter. Mm. How would I How did you them? save them? Oh, you know what happened after the 2007, 2000 election. Had I not joined up with President Kibaki to form the PNU Alliance, because I saw you struggling to remember what actually happened. Yes. It was ODM Kenya and PNU President Kibaki that formed the first coalition. And then my friend uh, Raila, with the assistance of international interlocutors, Kofi Annan and the team, African eminent personalities, mm -hmm. then we formed the first grand coalition government. Had I not, I want Kenyans to think, if I hate the Kikuyus, had I not joined up with President Kibaki? Because I was not appointed vice president. It was a negotiated position. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And then the bloodletting stopped. Would that amount to hatred of the Kikuyu? All my best friends are Kikuyu, including you, Jeff. Indeed. Yeah. I like that. Most of my fr best friends are here. <laughs> Except well. that you're a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> he called me that again. I'm going to have to use that extinguisher. <laughs> <I'm gonna No. laughs> you're a funny guy, you know that? Yeah, funny right. guy. But I like, as I said earlier on, nice guys finish last. Yeah. And you seem like a nice guy. You come across on TV. I'm sure people love watching you and you come across really nice and neat and clean. Oh, nice guys finish uh, last. No, 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 no. I said I decided this time, I would dirty my hands. This nice guy image is really what has been my undoing. Of course, without compromising my principle, my beliefs, I would never call anybody names. I apologize for calling you a chameleon. No, no, no. Oh, don't. That's no. not a name. Oh, come on. Right? No, 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 okay. no, no. You know me? Yeah. People. So, so, but I, it's time to roll up the sleeves yeah. for this country. It's time, my friend to roll up my sleeves. Are you ready to do that? Absolutely. And if these Absolutely. people and do battle. And if these people don't give you the flag bearer ship. Yes. yes. You support the flag whoever's ship. Who you support whoever's given. But if it is done in a manner that is demeaning to my principles, I will tell them precisely that. Will you walk out? No. I mean that is a very simplistic way. Walking out, I said I'm never a quitter. We will fight within NASA. 
take it from me. We are already fighting within NASA. Yeah. We'll fight within NASA. We'll look at the numbers. We'll look at, you know, things, each one of let us. Me ask, let, me, let me ask you this. The election is four months away, not four yeah. years away. Yeah, four when months. is this your fighting? Ah, what do you mean? When is this your, if, if, if they don't give it to you and you don't think they, they, they took it rightly? I think before the end of this month, by the way. Oh, come on. You are, told us May, March 22nd you were going to announce somebody. Oh, who told you? That's not me. Not me. I'm now telling you, Jeff. But before the end of this month, We'll give you a flag bearer. Okay. Never mind the Francis Nyanza is automaton. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> okay. there goes another ultimatum. It's not an ultimatum. This is considered view from a code, um, from a NASA code principle. Core principle. Before the end of this month, because you realize whoever is a flag bearer must begin to also fundraise. We are not in government, my friend. You don't have much All time. Right? So, I, a teacher called me the other day for my constituent said, I will be sending you every month one shilling. And remember, that's how uh, uh, my friend, uh, President Obama, actually became president. Kenyans are going to say, we know to big money, misuse of money, and they're going to own up. They're going to own a candidate. And I'm ready to be that candidate. Where you give in your five shillings, your 10 shillings and say, I want this man because he's going to help me realize the objectives for which this nation will be well known. And that is a united nation, peaceful nation, respected amongst the community of nations. Four months. What do you mean four months? You have four months to the general election. Already you've been campaigning. We've not been asleep. This weekend I've been Kwale. My friend Raila have been Kilifi. I think I saw Huru struggling it out someplace. No, he had crowds. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, he has crowds. Okay. I think Jubilee crowds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Each of us has crowd. The pundits <laughs> out there yeah. and some of the people working with, with the, the um, to, to pick a flag bearer, the, the coordinating committee, yeah. national coordinating committee, yeah. they're talking about a repeat of 2013, meaning Raila Kalonzo ticket. Deja they're talking about that? Yes. They haven't talked to me. Well, well, and let me tell you this. The final decision will not be that of the coordinating committee. Who's going to be? It will be the principles. The prin Their business would be to prepare a report and give it to us. Okay. Raila has called a meeting, I think it's either tomorrow or the next couple of days, right? What meeting? To decide on the flag bearer. Raila? He's included. No, no. Well, no. You all, NASA. Oh. NASA, the four principles. A, yeah, the Raila does not have a mandate to call anybody. Okay. <laughs> you, okay. You we all, consult. You all have called. But uh -huh. then now you're adding people like Joho and Oparanya Adding him uh, well. To come to talk as well to, oh, no, to no. help you. Who has told you this? This is information to me. Well, maybe, Absolutely. maybe you don't know, bro. Oh, okay, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for info. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If someone was to ask you, what is Kalonzo Musyoka's vision? Vision for this country going forward. What would you say that is? I think um, this is a very important question. And with all the seriousness one can summon, our viewers will remember I ran for election as president for the first time in 2007. So we know the game, we know the rules. But then one has to have vision. That time I talked about the 24 hour economy. Our main objective, and we are still working out our manifesto. We are late because ideally we should have come up with a NASA manifesto. And uh, this coordinating committee, if you ask me, are wasting a lot of time. They should be dealing with that. But I have already commissioned my own team that is working on my renewed manifesto. But the, the uniting factor of this country, I, I think I'm the gum. The gum that can hold our nation together. And I think Kenyans can look at me in the eyes and say, I think we can trust this guy. Yeah? That's number one. And I think we have demonstrated it. We tried to, as I said, sacrifice a lot during President um, uh, Moy's time as his foreign minister. He enabled me to grow mm -hmm. and gave me a lot of experience. I served President Kibaki faithfully. As you know, yeah. he wasn't in the best of health. But, but were, he could sleep were you disappointed knowing he has in a Moy's, vice president. Were you disappointed in Moy yeah, yeah, yeah. for when, picking Uhuru over you? Yeah, yeah, and I told him as much. It, it's in my book. Mm -hmm. On the 10th of October, it was Moy's day. Remember? Mm -hmm. Being mindful of other people's welfare. Mm -hmm. I went and told him, Moy, and people could not believe. Raila was sitting where you are. 
Moody Awori, Saitoti had been fired. He was concerned about his security. And my friend Uhuru came with uh, the Toto man and Yusuf Aji. Hmm. And we all sat there with, before Mze Moy, mm -hmm. very early in the morning. And nobody wanted to speak. I remember Biwot was talking about uh, strange things I, I couldn't follow. Mm. We were all like tired. Mm. And uh, so he said, uh, we are the rainbow group. You remember? Rainbow. Mm -hmm. Before we joined up with Kibaki and, and the late Wamalo and Gilo. So um, I told him, Zemoy, Zemoy, you know, you have helped us to grow. Thank you very much. But this democracy thing, we want to beg of you that you allow us to have free and fair nomination. Zemoy turned, I was sitting next to him. I thought he was going to hit me with a rungu. He said, listen, Stephen, it is not to Huru. You guys are opposing. It is me. Oh my goodness. Then dead silence. Then I told him, Zemoy, very boldly, but quietly, diplomatically. Now, Mze, since that it is not Uhuru, and it is you, may I with great respect, notice, noting the great uh, respect you have shown to my friend Uhuru and the Kenyatta family, why don't you allow a free and fair nomination and leave yourself out of it? Mm. All the gains Khan has made will then be safeguarded. And he didn't. Mze Moe stood up and that was the end of the meeting. We left. But we went straight to, uh, to um, Serena Hotel. We thought Lee Njiru was going to announce that we have all agreed to support uh, Uhuru. And, but we uh, prepared ourselves. But yeah. before we left, by the way, Saitoti and I were called back. And only to realize, because Raila had gone to attend uh, a funeral in Kisumu. Mm. And he kept on looking at his watch. I said, you know, brother, you don't do this. You're talking to the president. <laughs> okay, but he left. And Moody left as well. So I went with Saitoti. And we then now confronted in the diplomatic wait room, waiting room, my friend Uhuru and the Toto man and Senator Yusuf Aji. And then I asked him, now my friend Uhuru, you didn't say anything before Mze Moy. Now let me ask you, and we want to, to hear this from the horse's mouth. Are you prepared to have us go for nomination in Kasarani? To which he replied very firmly, and the, and the voice as deep as yours, <laughs> okay? <laughs> no, my friend Stephen, no. <laughs> that was the end of the discussion. That was the end of Kanu as it then was. So, President Moy disappoints you. In 2013 March, you're at your gazebo. You write about it in your book. Yeah, your yeah, gazebo yeah. in your house in Karen. Yeah. There's Ohuru, there's Ruto, there's you. Yeah. And, and there's Jimmy Onjigi. As, ah. As well. Yes. And they look at you and they say, pick any position. Yeah. Speakership. Right. Majority leader. leader. But yeah. you cannot get number one or number two. Yeah. That's what they told you. Yeah, yeah. To your face. Yes. Did that disappoint you again? Of course I was disappointed. Because at that point I was ready even to be Uhuru's running mate. And Ruto to become the majority leader. Mm -hmm. He would be Dwale today. But Ruto. they all turned it down. And... Uh, at the end of which they said, oh, tomorrow we have an appointment with President Gurunzinza in Bujibura. Uh, Uru was very diplomatic. He said, my brother, I want you to know that at 11 o'clock tomorrow we have this appointment. And so that we remain transparent, those are his words, our sister Charity Ngilu is coming with us. Hmm. I got the message. If you're not willing to join us, we have an alternative. We shook hands. And that was it. And that was it. Would you go Within back to Jubilee? Two days? Would you go back to Jubilee? Sorry? Would you go back? Go back to Jubilee? Yeah, there was could, no Jubilee. You could always be First House Majority all. Leader oh, or, or Speaker. No, 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 no. Times have changed, my friend. The lion has brought out the claws. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm still waiting to see these claws. <laughs> yeah. Mashimiwa, that's your camera there. Closing thoughts. And then we'll exchange books. How's that? We'll both sign. Yes, sure. Closing thoughts. Well, thank you, Jeff. You, you're one of our greatest in Africa. And I know that um, though we may have made some serious statements in a manner that is uh, relaxing, the most important thing is we have a nation to look after. And this is a great nation. Our tourism now is literally on its knees. We are fighting against terrorism. Our country is hungry. Our country, a lot of people, it's actually a country of strikes. We are offering alternative leadership. And this country will remain. This country will be strong. 
I'm ever an optimist and I refuse to quit. And therefore, Kenyans, I want you to know that I love you and keep hope alive. Keep hope alive? Yes. That was Jesse Jackson, right? That's right. That was Jesse Jackson? Absolutely. Okay, we, we cannot end this show without quoting Robert Alai. You know we have to. Oh, Robert Alai. Yeah. Yeah. I would actually like love to meet the guy. You've never met him? No. No. Robert Eli says, Kalonzo is a master of double speak. Wow. See here, he denying union with ODM when all evidence pointed to it. You union denying, with ODM? Yeah. Wiper ODM pact. Back then. I don't you're understand packed. him. You're packed in 2013. Am I denying it? You denied it. Of course not. I didn't deny it. It's a fact. But I've said we have moved on because we have a new entrant, yeah. ANC. So we cannot rely on that. And, and I'm not the type to cry baby. No. It's time to move on. Before we move on, the final answers, the final poll numbers for the question we were asking you all evening. Should Kalonzo Musioka be NASA flag bearer? Final answers are 48% say yes. That looks respectable. Uh, thank you. You, you, you. You'll take this? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you. I, there's always room for improvement. All right. I think it's a 50-50 thing. Well, 48-52 is close enough. Yeah. Moshimiwa, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's my book for you. Yeah. I wrote a little something can in I, there for Can you. I read it out? <laughs> Absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. To Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, thank you for always believing in Kenya and Africa. God bless always. Jeff Koenange, thank can, you. Can I read yours? Yeah, sure. Dear Jeff, you epitomize the struggle for a transparent Kenya. Please continue. Africa is taking note of your talented challenge. Whoa, that's deep. Yeah. That's deep. <laughs> thank you, bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. God bless. Great job. God bless you, you too. And okay. good luck going forward. Thank you. And even if you don't win, there's always 2022. Yeah, why not? You, Ruto, Matt. Joho, I mean, it's a crowded field. But we have a country to look after before then. Thank you so much for joining us. My guest tonight exclusively has been Wiper Democratic Movement leader, NASA co-principal Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. I hope you've enjoyed this chat as much as I have. Keep tweeting at SK Musioka, at Koinange Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag, as always, JK Live. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. Please keep watching every Wednesday. It's all about those three letters on the alphabet that follow each other. J K L. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. Good luck. God bless Kenya. Well done. Thank you so much.